big story. It's a big, big signal. And that's the question. Is this a signal that the United States of America is sending out? The United States of America has tested an intercontinental ballistic missile, Minuteman 3. Uh, and this has just been tested by the United States of America Air Force Strategic Space Command. This missile went and hit uh, the intended target uh, more than 9,000 kilometers away. Uh, the United States in a statement has said that the ICBM has hit the target accurately. Big, big story of the Minuteman 3 and Sana Hashmi is that the message that the U.S. is giving out. One, it's sending, it sent Nancy Pelosi. Of course, uh, at that point of time, it was said that she came on her own free will. Uh, the, uh, the President Joe Biden didn't want it. But then there is this bipartisan congressional delegation that's just followed. China carried out four drills. And now U.S. test fires an ICBM incident, which was postponed, as you rightly mentioned, twice. Once in April because of Russia-Ukraine conflict and then because of Chinese drills earlier. No, I think uh, there's no going back for... Uh both U.S. and Taiwan. And I think when Pelosi visited Taiwan, that was established at uh, that point of time that, you know, uh, U.S. and Taiwan, they have to cooperate together. And I think what we have to really focus on here is on Taiwan. Taiwan is not really escalating. Taiwan doesn't want to escalate. Its purpose is not to change the status quo. So this is China that is actually changing the status quo. And I think U.S. is responding to that. And I think to some extent, I would also say that U.S. is not trying to escalate in this situation. They're just trying to signal that if tomorrow something China escalates, we are going to come and defend Taiwan. So I think this is a message that is being sent from the U.S. side. Uh, but uh, I would say that neither U.S. nor Taiwan, their objective is just to expand Taiwan's international space. Uh, their objective is not to retaliate. Their objective is not to fight the Chinese. So I think this is something that is uh, that really needs to keep in mind when we talk about what is U.S. doing uh, today, and, but what we have to focus on, what China has been doing for the past two weeks.